Hello friends, welcome to Garden with Big Sad. I am Jenny and today here we are, we're gonna do a fun little project. I am going to pot up the new 2023 annuals from Proven Winners. As you know, we have a great relationship with Proven Winners and um, they have sent us the new introductions for annuals every year. This is, I think, our third, third or fourth year that they have sent them to us. So we are super excited to share them with you. They said, yes, go ahead and talk about them. You can do it. So that is what we're going to do. We have a ton of varieties to get going. I am super excited about these because they are absolutely amazing, fantastic. I know you're going to be excited as well. So um, I'm gonna pot them up and as I talk about it, we'll put some information on the screen. There's a bunch of them and then this year, our sweet friends at Pleasant View Gardens in New Hampshire, I'm wearing my hat from Tugboat Alley in honor of New Hampshire. Um, they sent us not one of each variety, but they sent us a whole strip. So I've got 12 of each. I may not plant all 12 just for the sake of time because I wanna get them in these new grande containers and so that way I can share them with you. So I might just do a couple of each one and we will go from there. All right, now again, these are all going to be annuals. What does an annual mean? An annual means that it lasts for one season. You plant them annually, okay? So if you have been around me for very long, you know what a huge, massive fan I am of the Surefire Begonias. Well, so exciting. We have two new introductions to the Surefire family. What I have right here, this is, I make sure I'm doing this right. This is Surefire White. So exciting. You can tell these are already huge plants. Surefire Begonias are fantastic because they'll do sun or shade. They are an absolute rock star. So we already have pink and rose and, no, excuse me, that's the same color. Pink and red, so we're adding white to it. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tags in. These will get 12 to 24 inches tall. They are fantastic for containers. They are great for the landscape. I have used them in both. I have used them in window boxes. Um, they are very upright, but yet a full plant. Um, I just adore these plants. They are amazing. So to have a white with a beautiful green foliage is very exciting. Next, we have Surefire Cherry. Now, the Surefire Cherry, you're gonna notice, has a dark foliage, which is really fun. And obviously, by its name, Cherry has a nice, bright red color to it. Oh, like you could just pair these together. I pair um, Surefire Begonias and Coleus together all the time in those gardens that are kind of a not quite full sun, but not quite full shade either. They're kind of that in between where they get a little bit of both. Well, this, the Surefires are wonderful for that. Um, again, they're all gonna be about the same size. What you're really looking at between the two, the varieties, all four varieties now, is the color. So, oh, excuse me. I totally, it's not just cherry, it's cordial cherry. Ha ha, there you go. Um, okay, moving on down the line. Ooh, let's see, we got some Super Bells. Super Bells, or Calibracoa, as we call them. Um, this is the double yellow. So you know, Surefire, I mean, not Surefire, I'm still stuck on my Surefires. You know the Super Bells yellow is one of our most popular um, Calibracoa's Super Bells. Well, this is double yellow. Has that double bloom, still all the great characteristics of Super Bells that we love. So for us, with thick, heavy soil, um, we recommend not putting them in the ground, that you just put them in some sort of container. That way they can um, drain really well. They hate having wet feet, but this double yellow is so fun. It has, it kind of reminds you of like a little mini rose bloom, really fun. So 
we have some more super bells. I'm telling you, this is like the, um, it seems to be like the year of the uh, super bells and super tunias because they've got some really fun ones. Now, let me get my tag so I can see it. Okay, nope, that's not it. Y'all are gonna flip out over this. This is Super Bell's Prism Pink Lemonade. Look at that beautiful plant. Is this not gonna be so much fun to play with? It is going to be such a fun, unique color, pink with a little bit of um, yellow in there. I think since they sent us 12 this year and they're, um, they are the Super Bells and they don't like to go in the ground, I really think I might put these in my boxes around our deck at the new patio. I think they would be a lot of fun um, to play with. I mean, just gorgeous. So six to 12 inches tall, but of course they're gonna be a trailer. Um, full to part sun, super easy. Um, of course, with your petunias and super bells, you want to make sure that you have them on a regular feeding schedule. That way um, they will produce those blooms. Now, talking about the Super Bells yellow, we have yellow improved. So Proven Winners is always looking for ways to make their plants just a little bit better. Even once it makes it to the Proven Winners family, which is a whole process, um, then they're always looking to kind of tweak it. How can we make this one better? So this is yellow improved. Um, we already love the yellow, so to have a yellow improved is gonna be just fantastic. But to pair the um, the yellow or the double yellow with that pink lemonade. Oh man, wouldn't that be really fun and pretty? All right, let me find my tags. We have a lot of yellow this year, which is so bright and cheery. You know, it's just, man, it's great. Makes a big impact from a distance. All right, so this tray is done. So let me move this out of the way. Now these are, we've got some petunias to share with you. It is an incredibly windy day here in North Carolina. Um, I went, one reason why we're in here and not outside, because it's definitely warm enough. Um, sorry. Before they actually, I actually received the plants Pleasant View sent us an email that gave us um, kind of like an online catalog of these plants. Say hello, my friends, to Supertunia Mini Vista Yellow. Yes, I said there is a yellow petunia. To know the Mini Vistas is to love the Mini Vistas. And now we have a gorgeous yellow. How fun is this gonna be? Now, because they are the Supertunias, they will do wonderful in basically any kind of container, whether it's a container, the landscape, a window box, it does not matter. These Super Tunia Mini Vistas, love it. They just need full to part sun, so at least four to six hours or more of direct sunlight. They are so much fun. Now, not only do we have one new Mini Vista, there's actually three new mini vistas. And um, I'm telling you, I texted Jerry and I was like, have you seen the list of these new plants? Oh my gosh. It was like Christmas and the first of March. Okay, here we go. Super Tunia Mini Vista Midnight. If you love Royal Velvet, but Royal Velvet maybe is a little too, uh, aggressive, vigorous for the containers or where it is that you're looking to put it. Super Bells, Super Bells, Super Tunia Mini Vista Midnight is going to be the plant for you. Look at that deep, rich color. The root systems on these guys are just fantastic. So excited about these plants. I don't know where they're all gonna go yet, but that's the fun because that can get, you know, some things like I'll look at them right away and I'm like, oh, I know exactly where you're gonna go. And other places, other plants, I'm like, I don't know, but we will find a spot for you. Of course, here at Creekside, a couple of years ago, we developed um, 
some trial garden beds here at the nursery that our customers can walk through. So you can see exactly how these annuals are performing um, in real time here at the nursery. Let's see if I can find the other mini vista. The third new Supertunia Mini Vista is Supertunia Mini Vista Scarlet. Huh. We have got a gorgeous red petunia um, in the Mini Vista line now. Very, very fun. Nice, deep red color on them. Absolutely stunning. These are going to be a lot of fun. Um, they're all, what am I talking about? They're all a lot of fun. I feel like I'm repeating myself because I just get so excited about these things. But that is like an aggressive, healthy, very happy plant on that one. And I seem to have lost the tag somewhere. So hopefully it didn't fall out of the players on my way down here. So I'll have to go hunting for that one. Um, so not only do we have three new mini vistas, we also have a new Supertunia in line. Let me find it. Okay, got restocked, moved some things around, I'm ready to go. We have now Supertunia Persimmon. Look at this, it is an absolutely beautiful, um, I would say a slight orange on the outside of the flower and then it has a beautiful soft yellow eye with a little bit of veining oh this is really fun because this is not like a color that we have currently in the line i know so um this will be a lot of fun to do with containers and mixed arrangements and then of course the landscape absolutely so it's going to be four to eight inches tall um, and of course we'll have that beautiful trailing effect that we love about our supertunias. Um, just such gorgeous colors. I love all the different new color introductions um, across the board on these plants. All right, let's see. Speaking of new, we have a new osteo to the line. To know the um, bright lights line, man right now they are cranking over here behind me so we have a new color for this one this is bright lights horizon sunset look at that does that just not make you happy i mean it really has all the colors of a sunset in that flower just you've got some purple you've got some yellow you've got orange you've got some pink and some mauve all sorts of fun things all together on the same plant eight to 12 inches tall um, these are nice and cool tolerant so for us in the south these are one of the first plants um, that you can once one of the first plants that we have that will start blooming for us um, they're always number one they are just their little overachievers and they are blooming their little heads off early on before the other plants are. But they do really well um, in containers, even in the landscapes, um, super easy to take care of. I do find not that you have to deadhead them, but if you do deadhead, it helps one, it helps the plant look a little cleaner, but it does encourage um, more blooms on it. One thing that we love about fruit, many things that we love about proven winners is that you do not have to deadhead their flowering plants next we have aromance mulberry now this is a beautiful um, purple with a little bit of pink with that beautiful yellow eye in the middle oh my goodness now i have to tell you i don't have a lot of experience with these plants with this whole line of plants. But looking at these liners right here, they are healthy and happy and they are covered in buds. So it is not gonna be long before we are going to see exactly what these little babies look like. Um, just beautiful. They're gonna be 10 to 18 inches tall. Um, let's see, they are upright. They will go all the way across a course through frost containers and the landscape. Um, you're going to space them about 10 inches apart from each other. Annuals pretty much everywhere. We consider all of these plants annuals. Now, if you are in the warmer climates, 
um, really, really starting around zone eight and higher, warmer. Um, you may that find that some of these will overwinter for you, and then it just depends on your winter. Um, but like this Aromance Mulberry, it could be a perennial in zone eight to 10. So, you know, if you're in those areas, you know, I always tell people, I was like, hey, give it a try, see what happens. All right, next we have the um, Laguna Compact Blue with an eye. So, oh, and when we say an eye of a flower, that just means the center, right? So this is just a beautiful, um, gorgeous, true blue, because a lot of times in the horticultural world, they'll say, oh, this is a blue flower, and it really is like in the purple family. This is gonna be a true blue and it has that beautiful white eye. So they're gonna get eight to 10 inches, eight to 12 inches tall rather. They are going to be um, containers and landscapes. They're gonna be nice and mounded. So they're not gonna really be an upright or a trailer. This would be like one of your fillers in your container if you were gonna use it in a container. These are gonna be so much fun to play with. Um, so of course, I don't know if I finished that story. We will have them all in the um, trial gardens. So if you come to Creekside, you can look at them in the trial gardens. We will also, I am sure, incorporate some of them into the new bed that is just right here off of the greenhouse because man, they're gonna be a lot of fun to put in there. Now, we've had a lot of flowers and I think we have a couple of more, but right now we're gonna move over to the proven accents. And proven accents are basically your foliage plants, right? Um, they're not gonna have a lot of, or any blooms on them rather, but um, nice, fun foliage. So the first one is a Proven Accents Big Leaf. Now, if I am not mistaken, we, yes, they also call this a wire vine, creeping wire vine. So this will be, you can already tell from its habit that this is going to be a great trailer. I have had customers talk to me and they say that they, um, in the past, will have hanging baskets of just the um, wire vine and they say it's just a really fun, unique plant. Um, it is trailing, it is for foliage, it is going to be um, full to part sun, super easy to take care of. A lot of these proven accents plants, man, it's like, you know, dash them with a little splash of water every once in a while and they are happy so this again will be a fun new texture to add to hanging baskets and window boxes and um, just containers in general and then of course you could probably use it um, in the landscape even as a ground cover if you wanted to um, really really fun The next new introduction, if you have been around me again for any length of time, you know what an absolutely massive, huge fan I am of Proven Winners Annual Salvia. Um, they are just absolute rock stars for us. Super vigorous, easy to take care of, massive, huge performers. So this is the Rockin' Deep Purple Improved because like I said earlier, they are always looking to see, okay, how can we make even our current plants even better? So i had always told people that the Rock and Deep Purple, while it's a huge magnet for hummingbirds, it would tend to be one of the more unruly of the Rockin' series. It just seemed a little bit taller, um, just a little wild, right? So she was the wild child. So they have made her more compact, more floriferous, and um, more in line with like the rock and fuchsia. So more of that type of growth habit, performance, um, but still that same great color that we have always loved. Um, so excited to see how this one has grown and, or will grow rather. And because, like I said, sometimes I would stay away from the deep purple because it was just a little too wild. Um, and certain, you know, applications, it was great, but to have a more compact one is obviously always a really good thing. Next, going back to another um, 
Proven Accents. This is Purple Queen. And love this one because it will do sun or shade. Um, it is going to be 12 to 18 inches tall. Um, just a beautiful foliage plant. Um, it does gonna have a trailing habit to it. So if you were to put it in the landscape, it's gonna act a little bit more like a ground cover. Beautiful purple foliage on it. Um, just kind of your normal water conditions. It's not, doesn't like it super wet, doesn't like it super dry, easy peasy, but it will be a great filler um, with that big pop of purple color in your containers and in your landscape. If you have a little bit of a hole that you need to have filled, man, pop these in there. It will make a huge impact. Remember, you don't always have to have flowers to make it really attractive and eye-catching. All right, get these tags in here. We got a couple more to go. Super exciting. Here in the South, we do love our lantana and Proven Winners knows that. So we have got a beautiful new lantana. This is um, Luscious Royale Lemon Tart. Look at that beautiful yellow color. I told you there was a lot of new yellows coming out onto the market next year. Beautiful, um, of course, we love the lantanas because they are sun lovers. They handle our heat and humidity like a champ. The butterflies love them. Um, super, typically will be deer resistant because of their rough texture. And they do have that kind of that minty smell to them when you crush their foliage. Um, so they tend to be, like I said, a little bit more of a deer resistant. But if you are looking for that beautiful yellow color, um, a different, of course, flower shape than any of the other yellows we've already had before, um, Luscious Royale Lemon Tart is gonna be a fun one, 12 to 16 inches tall. Speaking of lantanas, we have another one. This is, I have my little, I have my little book that they send me here. This is Luscious Basket Tangelo Lantana. 12 to 26 inches tall, of course, landscape or containers. Um, but this is gonna be a bicolor. Um, it is large clusters of vivid yellow flowers that transition into tropical coral colors. How fun is that? We love we love plants that uh, change as they mature. Brings you just this whole kind of myriad of colors on the plant. So you can never have too many lantanas in your garden. Just fabulous. This next one is gonna be so much fun. This is a sweet potato vine, right? You're like, oh, Jenny, you know, sweet potato vine, how much fun can it be? <laughs> Have you ever had a climbing sweet potato vine before? I know I haven't. So let me introduce you to the Proven Accents Sweet Caroline Upside Key Lime. Yes, my friends, they are introducing climbing sweet potato vines. So this is, of course, the key lime, which is that beautiful, you know, pop of massive color. But look at this, see? how it's already starting to do it. I'm thinking, I told Jerry, I'm really considering using this in hanging baskets, like just do what we call a monoculture, meaning we're gonna do um, multiples, may maybe, we'll see how vigorous this is, of the same plant in one container. So that way you have this huge pop of color, the same plant. That would be really fun in a hanging basket because not only, of course, will it climb up the hanging basket, but it will also trail. And to have this beautiful, bright chartreuse color, oh man, that would make such an impact from a big distance. Of course, you could use it, you know, if you wanted to hide something or use it as a climber to go up, you certainly could do that. So not only do we have it in the key lime, but we also have it in black coffee. Have you ever noticed that Proven Winners does a lot of plants with food names? Do you think they know how much we enjoy our food? I think they do. So black coffee obviously is going to be a beautiful counterpart 
to the key lime and just be a really nice dark color. The new foliage, um, like I'm seeing right now, the new foliage is gonna come out that lime green and then it will transition to that nice, beautiful, dark, dark um, burgundy, almost that black color foliage. This is gonna be full to part sun. I believe both of these will trail up to make sure they're both the same yep 36 to 72 inches so these are going to be pretty vigorous and they're going to be very happy plants be really fun we've got one more sweet potato vine that they are adding uh, to the collection either adding no i believe it's an improved cultivar here we go this is a proven accents illusion penny lace and penny lace is still going to be that beautiful nice dark um, sweet potato vine it is going to be part sun to sun 24 to 36 inches and i'm reading my notes here um, it is going to have deeper red highly dissected foliage and a more spherical less trailing habit than its predecessor garnet so it's going to be um, more mounding than it is trailing it's still going to trail but it's not going to be quite as um vigorous shall we say Woo. the wind is popping today y'all it is springtime unofficially springtime here in north carolina and of course with that comes the winds oh look at that so pretty so pretty these are gonna be a lot of fun to play with. And sweet potato vines, of course, um, do great in landscape and containers. Um, in the landscape, again, it's gonna act a lot like a ground cover. So if you have an area that you need to fill in, I know I keep saying this with these proven accents, but it is just such an easy way to have a really quick fast growing ground cover for an area um, especially if you're looking to bring in some contrast so if you have um, let's say you've got boxwoods or something and you need to fill in underneath them um, but you don't want to have petunias you don't want you don't need flowers you just need color this penny lace would be absolutely gorgeous underneath it all right and then the last new introduction that we are going to look at today is a really fun one can you tell what family this is going to belong to? Can you tell? I bet you can. Yes, this is a new member of the Tut family. This is going to be Queen Tut. So, of course, we have King Tut, which is the big mama jama, or the big daddy mac, rather, I should say, the huge one. Then we have Prince Tut, which is, you know, that middle ground one. We have baby tut, so of course you've got to have the queen in there. So here we have queen tut. Now, even though she is the queen, she's gonna be a little bit more um, in the size family of baby tut. So she's not gonna be, she's not gonna be between sizes of prince and king. She's gonna be in that same size uh, family as baby tut, but it's gonna have more, um, interest to it so you can tell by looking at these pictures um, that just a little bit of a variation look to it really super fun we always love the tuts because they love water and they are super easy to take care of but bring lots of interest to a container or the landscape people are always asking what is that if you have a tut member in your landscape container wise now um, i believe there is a coleus, but I must have left that up in another part of the greenhouse. So I will be sure to add that into one of um, the other videos, but I can go ahead and tell you what it is because I have my handy dandy little book here. Um, you know us, we do adore our coleuses. They are just fantastic. So this is gonna be Color Blaze Mini Me Watermelon. It is a coleus, 12 to 20 inches tall, sun or shade another reason why we love coleus is because they're so adaptable but look at the color and the texture of this coleus is it not fabulous it is going to be um <laughs> the description says small but mighty um, that fun feathery texture to it um, watermelon red leaves edged in chartreuse that grows vigorously to form a compact lightly branched plant with no pinch 
or um, kind of pruning needed. Fantastic. Um, just a lot of fun. Now, again, these are annuals that will be introduced next year, 2023. They are not available now, but Proven Winners and Pleasant View have sent us these plants so that we can, one, grow them as a grower to know how best to grow them for you next year and for us to trial them in our gardens so that I can bring you along on the journey through the entire season because they really will last us um, now in the greenhouse all the way through um, a hard freeze. So for us in North Carolina, that's November massive flower color and because i've got more than one plant i can plant them in different situations so i could say you know this luscious royale lemon tart did really well here over in this situation it kind of struggled a little bit so it gives us a lot of experience to then share with you so that right off the bat you don't have to make the mistakes maybe that i make and you can just hit the ground running so i hope you found this fun i know i have found it fun very exciting if you have seen some that you like of course write them down in your gardening journal but we will continue to keep you updated on their progress all the way through the end of the season it's going to be a lot of fun as always thanks so much for gardening with creekside y'all have a fabulous day and we'll see you in the next video bye friends